tomorrow though. So here's the thing. It's probably feeling really pleasant across portions of the plains today. You've got a little bit of a break in the heat, but that's not going to last long. We've got another system moving right in that's going to pull all that warmth, pull all that moisture up, and that is going to increase our risk for severe storms for again tomorrow as well. So you can see stretching from uh, the plain states up into Fargo, Min uh, Minneapolis. You're kind of on the cusp of this as well, and that's for your Monday. But I'll tell you for Monday, it's mainly going to be an afternoon, evening, nighttime type of thing. Gusty winds, very large hail possible, but we cannot rule out an isolated tornado. Two to three on the Torcon here. So that tells me that it's not a, a, the biggest threat, but it is something you have to be cognizant of there, especially across northern Minnesota. So Minneapolis today uh, into tomorrow looking pretty nice. Plenty of sunshine for your Monday. But as we head into Monday night, you're going to be one of those places that sees that storm chance ramp up. And of course, with those overnight storms, you want to make sure you have some way to get those alerts. But watch what happens. You get a nice little cool down after that. Highs going from the mid 80s Monday to the lower 70s on Tuesday. Speaking of Tuesday, we're going to shift that risk of severe storms a little bit and we're going to take it a bit farther eastward. Kansas City, Omaha, Davenport, Iowa. You're all getting in on this. Now this risk is just for an isolated severe storm, but it's certainly something that we'll have to watch evolve as the system continues to uh, progress eastward. A quick look at Tuesday. You can see we've got those scattered thunderstorms stretching from portions of the Mississippi Valley and then back into portions of the eastern plains. Severe storms across the northern tier again. So we any really really anywhere shaded in red tomorrow from uh, the international border back down into portions of Oklahoma could see an isolated severe storm but that slightly higher risk is going to be in the darker shading of red for places like Sioux Falls and North Platte. It's mainly going to be a, an event later in your day on Monday. So Monday uh, afternoon into Monday evening not just the gusty winds not just the very large hail possible but the these storms are going to be uh, uh, possible of breeding a tornado as well. So we do have Torcons of two to three across this area. Sioux Falls, St. Cloud and Fargo, you're in that three area. So something you really want to be cognizant uh, about as these storms begin to ramp up. So starting you out around 4 p.m., look at this I-29 corridor. If for some reason you happen to be driving down I-29, you would just be stuck in that absolutely by 4 p.m. Now that blasts through pretty quickly, moves east of Grand Forks and Fargo into Bagley and uh, Perham. So you are going to see that blasting through, but nonetheless, you've got to get through it first. And some of those storms could certainly be packing a punch. Minneapolis, Monday should be just fine for you. You're a little bit farther east, so we're waiting for those storms to move in a little bit later. But by Monday evening into Monday night, you can see those thunderstorms sticking around. A nice little break from some of the heat, though. You're going to go from lows in the lower 70s to waking up Wednesday morning in the lower 60s. It will probably feel a little bit crisp and refreshing for you. By Tuesday, we're going to continue that isolated risk for a severe storm from Port of the plains into the upper Mississippi Valley and a survey team from the National Weather Service rating this tornado an EF4 it struck Ottertail County, Minnesota Wednesday. The twister on the ground for nine miles. That's incredible. Peak winds estimated at 170 miles an hour. Authorities say two homes and a business were demolished and six other homes and buildings had minor damage. Just looks unreal. Now, a tornado's intensity is rated from zero to five on the enhanced Fujita scale. That's what we're talking about when you hear us say a tornado was rated an EF4. The EF in the rating merely shorthand for Enhanced Fujita. Our Alex Wilson.